I'm ready to go. Are you? Make it happen, baby! Man. Tracy. Yo. Amanda. Amanda. You 
better not be. Not in my house. Fuck you, Michael. Go away. I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are going to have an arrangement. I'm going to arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll cop the session. I promise. You are dead, man. Fuck. Dead. Come here. Ah! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <laughs> Bullshitting. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> this truck yours? The guy's doing some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body hook to it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? You wish he was dead. Is that a problem? Shit, dog shit shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. Ain't you looking? He went left up there, dog. Now you been kind of reckless, homie. Straight ahead, man. What is he doing? Throw some more hip, you stupid hippie fuck! Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. You see that little piece of shit? Okay, this is the turn. Hey! He in one of these fucking houses? Yeah, keep your eye out. That's his car, right there. Little pricks up there, look. Oh, shit, Cole's doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fuck! You got the wrong idea, man! Banging married women's a hobby, not a fucking profession. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I'd comp the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud! We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh. How fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And hey, we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit. Well, hey, wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh shit! You sorry now if you wasn't already! Come on, man! Do it to him! Fuck out! 
Just fucking terrified. Fucking essay is right behind. You kidding me? Get can you do something? I'll give it a go, man. Keep trying. We can handle this, right? Screw them. Push the pedal, man. We gotta move. Ice that motherfucker. We lost him. All right, let's go back home. Wow, shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. I got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man, I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't pumped like that in years. Oh, yes, fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of man. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me, we handled it. Wherever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking clients. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah, doing something for a change. Man, you know what? You are wasted sitting by that fucking pool, man. You're right. I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. Fuck that. I'm better than that. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin, maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo, it, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was a thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that 
The rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker.
Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an iFind alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. Uh, I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> as much as I love catching up,
Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Goodbye. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boys vest. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Even evangelizing. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. And we scan. Scanning. You want a massage? 
Cause my hands are free. <laughs> Give me a second, will ya? And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. When we go mobile, we'll be able to track all their movements. We'll know everything. That's so cool. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye now. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on. You're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! Let me get the door for you. Hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. You know, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. guy in America. You all discuss. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal 
computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. Dock, 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 We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call for my product team to introduce the device, but we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I hate to keep you waiting any longer, but trust me, it's worth it. And don't worry, I will fire several people for this. Have the fun for me, would it? I hope, I really do hope and pray. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. Dock, 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 Hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Security. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! Last. That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look.
You and me on the court. Let's go. Ours might be a marriage in name only, but at least we still got tennis. We'll always have tennis until I can't stand the sight of you. Oh my god, you suck at this! You got a tennis game in there, pal. No, don't get upset and attack me, darling. Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just... Want you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride. You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach. And I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh. Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house. 
after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start... Aw, oh, man! You can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Oh, hell yeah. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-based? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me, but I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys right off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... You're driving like a psychopath, Michael! Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick or a Jew boy or an ass munching homo. Oh! There was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you my dude, right? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, you. Two bikes. Take your pick. I'm fabulous, of course, as usual. This really? one will do. I knew it. Oh, I felt so afraid. If I make oh it to God. the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. Oh, oh for Whatever. God's sake. Beautiful. Oh, oh trip down. Covers all hey, three of my career. End of the pier. Fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. Hey, Pop. If you're such a health nut, we should do a triathlon or some other midlife crisis nonsense. Hey, Lie down. That's it. Huh. Number one, pal. You owe me a TV. Hey, I never agreed to that. <laughs> you know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, well, I'm giving it my best shot. Hey, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? 
Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford, so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Look, if you do go, don't say I told you. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Our house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Those walls to talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, Ain't Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey. Fuck, oh, man. I like oh, this. Problem. You're such a jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on, now. I'm about to skin you alive. God damn it. Go. Keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Since when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Just go, okay, go. Back off, assholes. <laughs> Looks like this is the way out. You pricks! I can't believe I sort of had sex with you, you psychopaths! 
Back off, assholes! Hey, turd buckets! If you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the sea sharks will be impounded! Looks like this is the way out! You see? They're gone. It's okay. I'll take you back to your brother. It's not okay. It's terrible. I can't believe you did that to me. Whoa, whoa, chill out, babe. Now, 
What did you say? Yeah, no, no, no worries. It was a pleasure. I bet it was a pleasure. You're only pleased when you're being shot at. No, I meant you don't have to thank me for saving your life from those maniacs. You didn't say that you ruined it. Okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what? You sent him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like you get sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cap. You okay there? Hello. Hey, buddy. We're still running tomorrow, right? What's going on, my dude? Fuck you! Bitch! Hello. I can really use a vacation. Don't touch me! Oh, you don't have to call to tell me that. Not you! The Dieter Sack store detective! There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. that opportunity. I said get off me, you stupid bastard. I told you, she's a biter. That's assault on top of the shop, let me be. Man, the paperwork. Yep. 
What you packing? You know. Hey, hey! Stop okay. right now! Hit the gas! Oh. Go, 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 go! I'm on top of it. Hello? No seatbelts? Shit! They're still on us! Chill out. It's under control. They're coming, Michael! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Chill out. It's under control. You trying to kill me back here? The cops are still after us. I'm on top of it. Come on, come on, come on. Chill out. It's under control. Drive, Michael. I'm on top of it. Chill out. It's under control. I do not want to go to prison. Relax. I got this. There's no point in losing the cops if I'm dead in the back seat. Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Don't say it! What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed! Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you! I'm not saying anything! I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail! Can we drive home, please? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at, love, love, big love. So this is what it's like to be you. Uh, not really, honey. See, I'm a semi-successful crook. You're a bit of a failure, but hey, kudos for trying. Not that successful if you're in witness protection. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we see what Agent Dave and the FIB think of this lover's on the run at? Where are you going? You know, I'm sort of thankful for this. Idiot! I'm sort of thankful for this. Thankful? This is the worst day of my life. Ah, oh, come on, you're doing your part. Your spending habits have got us into a sticky financial situation, so you're cutting corners. Really? My spending habits? I've seen your day trader account. Oh! It, ah, fuck off! Hey, that's private. I swear, password protection, it ain't even sacred no more. Give it up. You pissed our savings down the toilet. Really? Our savings? Yeah, our savings. I gave up everything to start this life with you, you selfish shit. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, whatever. Our savings. It's just, look, you can't look at the day-by-day -day figure. You gotta look at the overall, the, you know. Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and, yeah, thank you. Daddy's home.
Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up.
think you can beat my crew, Güero? Wasn't too hard the last time. Orale! <laughs> Let's do this. the lead time. Katrina. They told me you had gone soft, Morgan. This fire, it's a pleasant surprise. Think you can keep it up? Ask Lena Navarro. Not many people can get under her skin like you did. What did you do, mijo? She thinks she can rig races in Fortune Valley. I unrigged one for her. Welcome to the tune-up shop. Here you can buy new speed cards or trade in part tokens for a chance at that perfect upgrade. 